Boyle left Newfoundland for Montreal, Quebec in the Dominion of Canada where he trained at McGill University under Nobel Prize winner Sir Ernest Rutherford, in the then-fledgling field of radioactivity. He then moved to England to continue his work by following Rutherford to the University of Manchester. In 1912 he returned to Canada at the request of Henry Marshall Torrey to become head of the physics department at the University of Alberta, and shifted his research to ultrasonics. Pioneers in the development and application of piezoelectric transducers for the goal of submarine detection, A. Paul Langevin, B. Robert William Boyle, C. Cross-sectional view of a form of quartz transducer designed by Boyle in 1917, as recorded in the Burr, Board of Invention and Research, Document 38164-17 During the First Great War Boyle volunteered his expertise to the British Admiralty and, with the help of his old teacher Ernest Rutherford, he joined the Board of Inventions and Research, and worked with British physicist Albert Beaumont Wood, a fellow student of Rutherford S. Before 1917 the scientific teams from the Allied countries worked separately, however, after joining forces with French researchers, Boyle produced a working prototype of what the British called ASTIC, the first sonar. Early versions of the technology were being installed on Royal Navy warships just as the war came to an end. In 1919 Boyle returned to Alberta and shortly thereafter became Dean of the Faculty of Applied Science, a position he held until 1929. That year he joined the National Research Council of Canada as the Director of Physics, where he supervised research into radar during the Second World War. He continued to work at the National Research Council until his retirement in 1948, when he moved back to England. He was elected to the Royal Society of Canada in 1921 and awarded the Flavel Medal in 1940.